In the hushed corners of memory and whispered tales passed down through generations, lie the remnants of stories that defy explanation. They are not the stuff of legend or folklore, but the fragments of real-life horrors that seep through the cracks of our collective consciousness, leaving indelible marks upon those who dare to listen. It is in these shadows that I find myself drawn, compelled to unearth the chilling truths that lurk just beyond the veil of the ordinary. My name matters little, for I am merely the vessel through which these stories are told. You may know me as the narrator, the conduit between the realms of the mundane and the macabre. It is my solemn duty to bring forth the tales that have been sent in by those who have encountered the darkness firsthand, weaving their narratives into the fabric of our shared reality. But heed my warning, dear listener, for the stories I recount are not for the faint of heart. They are the echoes of lives forever altered by the touch of terror, the whispers of souls haunted by that which should not be. And yet, it is in the retelling of these harrowing accounts that we find solace, a glimmer of understanding amidst the chaos. So, as you venture forth into the depths of these tales, steel yourself against the chill of the unknown. For what you are about to hear is not mere fiction, but the raw, unfiltered truth of real-life horrors that linger in the shadows, waiting to be brought into the light. As the flickering embers dance upon the edge of oblivion, casting long, twisting shadows upon the cracked cobblestones of the bustling city streets, a palpable sense of unease hangs heavy in the air. It is a feeling born of whispered rumors and fleeting glimpses of something sinister lurking just beyond the veil of perception. In the heart of London, where life teems with vibrant energy and the pulse of humanity beats in rhythm with the ticking of the clock, there exists a darkness that defies explanation. It is a darkness that creeps insidiously through the cracks of everyday life, seeping into the very fabric of reality like a malignant stain upon the soul. And yet, amidst the chaos and clamor of the metropolis, there are those who stand as guardians against the encroaching tide of terror. Among them, a solitary figure emerges from the swirling mists of uncertainty, their resolve tempered by the flames of adversity, and the weight of past encounters with the infernal. In the flickering glow of the fire's merciless advance, the streets become a battleground, a theater of war where the forces of light and darkness clash in a primal struggle for supremacy. It is here, amidst the chaos and carnage, that the true nature of the city is revealed a crucible of contradictions, where beauty and brutality coexist in a delicate balance. So, as you journey deeper into the heart of darkness, let the flames guide your way, and the echoes of the past serve as a warning against the perils that lie ahead. For in the labyrinthine depths of the unknown, there are no guarantees, no safe harbors to shelter the unwary. There is only the relentless march of time and the inexorable pull of destiny, drawing us ever closer to the edge of oblivion. In the annals of time, amidst the tapestry of history woven by the hands of fate, there exists a chapter shrouded in the mists of antiquity a chapter, where the cobblestone streets of London echo with the footsteps of generations past. It is a time of unparalleled growth and innovation, when the city teems with life and vitality, its labyrinthine alleyways and bustling thoroughfares, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. In the 17th century, London stands as a beacon of progress amidst the tumultuous seas of change, its skyline punctuated by the towering spires of cathedrals and the imposing facades of grand manors. From the teeming markets of Cheapside to the opulent halls of Whitehall Palace, the city pulses with the rhythm of commerce and culture, a melting pot where people of all walks of life converge in search of opportunity and adventure. But beneath the veneer of prosperity lies a darker truth a truth, obscured by the smoke and mirrors of polite society. For in the shadowed alleyways and dimly lit taverns, whispers of conspiracy and intrigue swirl like the fog that blankets the city streets. It is a world of clandestine meetings and secret societies, where power is wielded like a double-edged sword, and alliances are forged in the crucible of ambition. And yet, amidst the chaos and corruption, there are those who stand as beacons of hope in the encroaching darkness. Among them, a select few emerge as champions of the downtrodden, their resolve tempered by the fires of adversity and the crucible of conflict. It is in the crucible of conflict that the true metal of humanity is tested, where the lines between good and evil blur and the fate of nations hangs in the balance. So, as you step back in time to witness the unfolding drama of 17th century London, let the echoes of the past serve as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. For in the crucible of conflict, amidst the swirling mists of uncertainty, there lies the potential for greatness and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. In the labyrinthine maze of London streets, where the sun struggles to penetrate the thick veil of smoke that hangs heavy in the air, life pulsates with an energy both frenetic and chaotic. Here, amidst the teeming throngs of humanity, where the clatter of hooves and the cacophony of voices blend into a symphony of urban chaos, every corner tells a story a story of triumph and tragedy, of hope and despair. 
The streets themselves are a study in contrasts, a patchwork quilt of wealth and poverty, stitched together by the hands of fate. From the opulent splendor of Covent Garden to the squalid alleyways of Whitechapel, each thoroughfare has its own tale to tell, its own secrets to keep. And yet, amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life, there is a sense of unity a shared experience, that binds the denizens of this sprawling metropolis together in a common bond. It is a bond forged in the crucible of adversity, where the relentless march of progress collides with the immutable forces of tradition. Here, amidst the clamor of street vendors and the hustle of merchants, one can glimpse the essence of London the beating heart of a nation on the brink of transformation. And yet, for all its vibrancy and vitality, there is a darkness that lurks just beneath the surface a darkness that preys upon the unsuspecting and the unwary. It is a darkness born of desperation and despair, fueled by the fires of injustice and inequality. And yet, amidst the chaos and confusion, there are those who refuse to be cowed by the forces that seek to oppress them. They are the unsung heroes of the city streets, the silent guardians who stand watch over the vulnerable and the voiceless. So, as you navigate the crowded thoroughfares of 17th century London, let the sights and sounds of the city wash over you like a tide of memories. For in the hustle and bustle of daily life, amidst the throngs of humanity that populate its streets, there lies the true essence of this storied metropolis a place, where dreams are born, and destinies are forged in the crucible of time. In the midst of the chaos and clamor that define the crowded streets of 17th century London, there emerges a figure shrouded in the billowing clouds of smoke, and ash alone sentinel standing resolute against the ravages of fire and fury. This figure, known simply as the firefighter, is a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, a steadfast guardian who stands ready to confront the inferno with unwavering resolve. Though their name may be lost to the annals of history, their deeds are etched into the very fabric of the city itself. For the firefighter is no mere mortal, but a paragon of courage and conviction, forged in the crucible of adversity and tempered by the fires of experience. Theirs is a calling born of necessity a calling to protect and serve, to stand as a bulwark against the encroaching tide of destruction. But beneath a weathered exterior lies a heart that beats with the fierce determination of a lie in a heart, that refuses to yield in the face of overwhelming odds. For the firefighter has seen things that would break lesser souls, has stared into the abyss and emerged unscathed. Theirs is a burden born with humility and grace, a burden that weighs heavy upon their shoulders, but fuels their resolve nonetheless. And yet, amidst the chaos and carnage, there is a flicker of hope a glimmer of light that pierces the darkness like a beacon in the night. For the firefighter is not alone in their struggle, but part of a brotherhood forged in the crucible of adversity a brotherhood bound by blood and fire, united in purpose and resolve. So, as the flames dance and the city burns, know that the firefighter stands ever vigilant, a silent guardian watching over the city streets with unwavering resolve. For theirs is a duty not taken lightly, but embraced with open arms a duty to protect and serve, to stand as a bastion of hope amidst the chaos and despair. And yet, amidst the chaos and carnage, there are moments of clarity moments when the firefighter's resolve is tested and tempered by the flames themselves. For in the crucible of adversity, they have found strength and purpose, a sense of duty that transcends the boundaries of mortal existence. But it is not only the physical scars that bear witness to their trials, but the emotional toll as well. For the firefighter carries with them the weight of countless lives lost and dreams destroyed a burden that weighs heavy upon their soul, but fuels their determination nonetheless. So, as they stand amidst the inferno, their heart ablaze with passion and purpose, know that the firefighter is not simply a guardian of the flames, but a warrior forged in the crucible of fire, itself a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of overwhelming odds. In the bustling streets of 17th century London, where the sun struggles to penetrate the thick canopy of smoke that hangs heavy in the air, life unfolds with a rhythm as ancient as time itself. From the break of dawn to the dying embers of dusk, the city teems with activity, its labyrinthine alleyways and bustling thoroughfares, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. As the first rays of sunlight filter through the dense fog that blankets the city streets, the denizens of London awaken to greet the day with a mixture of anticipation and trepidation. From the humblest of dwellings to the grandest of estates, each corner of the city hums with the energy of a metropolis on the brink of transformation. In the markets of Covent Garden and the bustling docks of the Thames, merchants hawk their wares with a fervor bordering on desperation, their voices blending into a cacophony of sound that fills the air with a symphony of urban chaos. From fresh produce to exotic spices, the bounty of the earth is laid bare for all to see, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. 
But amidst a hustle and bustle of daily life, there are moments of quiet reflection moments, when the frenetic pace of the city slows to a gentle crawl, and the weight of the world seems to lift from weary shoulders. In the shadowed corners of St. Paul's Cathedral and the tranquil gardens of Hyde Park, the denizens of London seek solace amidst the chaos, their thoughts turning inward as they contemplate the mysteries of life and death. And yet, for all its beauty and grandeur, there is a darkness that lurks just beneath the surface of darkness, that threatens to consume the city hall if left unchecked. From the narrow alleyways of Whitechapel to the opulent halls of Westminster Palace, whispers of conspiracy and intrigue swirl like the fog that blankets the streets, casting a pall of uncertainty over the city's inhabitants. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there are those who refuse to be cowed by the forces that seek to oppress them. They are the unsung heroes of the city streets, the silent guardians who stand watch over the vulnerable and the voiceless, their resolve tempered by the fires of adversity and the crucible of conflict. So, as the sun sets on another ordinary day in London, let us pause to reflect on the fleeting nature of life, and the enduring spirit of humanity that binds us all together. For in the heart of the city, amidst the chaos and confusion, there lies a glimmer of hope a beacon of light that pierces the darkness and guides us towards a brighter tomorrow. Amidst the bustling streets of 17th century London, where the clamor of commerce and the chatter of humanity blend into a symphony of urban chaos, a small bakery stands as a beacon of warmth and sustenance, amidst the cold, unforgiving streets. Its weathered facade bears the scars of time, its windows adorned with flickering candlelight that dances like fireflies in the night. On this seemingly ordinary day, as the sun hangs low in the sky and the city pulses with the rhythm of life, a spark ignites within the confines of the bakery a spark born of carelessness or perhaps something more sinister. At first, it is nothing more than a whisper of smoke a faint wisp that curls lazily towards the ceiling, unnoticed by all but the most observant. But as the minutes tick by and the flames take hold, the bakery becomes a crucible of chaos a tempest of fire and fury that threatens to consume everything in its path. The air is thick with the acrid scent of smoke, the screams of panicked patrons echoing off the walls like a symphony of despair. In the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there is a sense of disbelief a feeling of incredulity, that such devastation could be wrought in the blink of an eye. And yet, as the fire spreads with unchecked ferocity, there is no time for reflection, no room for hesitation. There is only the desperate scramble for survival as the bakery is consumed by the flames. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there is a glimmer of hope a flicker of light amidst the darkness. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there emerges a figure a lone sentinel standing resolute against the ravages of fire and fury. It is the firefighter, their eyes ablaze with determination as they plunge headlong into the maelstrom, their hands and heart united in a singular purpose to quell the flames and save those trapped within. And yet, as they confront the inferno with unwavering resolve, they cannot shake the feeling that there is something more at play a malevolent force, that drives the fire's insatiable hunger, and threatens to consume them whole. But still, they press on, their courage unyielding in the face of overwhelming odds. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lies the true test of their metal a test, that will push them to the very brink of their abilities and beyond. In the labyrinthine streets of 17th century London, where the hustle and bustle of daily life drown out the whispers of danger that lurk in the shadows, the city's residents move about their lives with a sense of obliviousness a false sense of security, born of familiarity and routine. As the sun rises over the horizon and casts its warm embrace upon the city streets, the denizens of London awaken to greet the day with a mixture of anticipation and complacency. From the humblest of dwellings to the grandest of estates, each corner of the city hums with the energy of a metropolis on the brink of transformation. And yet, amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life, there is a sense of naivety a blind faith in the illusion of safety, that permeates the very fabric of society. For in the shadowed alleyways and dimly lit taverns, whispers of danger and deceit, swirl like the fog that blankets the streets, casting a pall of uncertainty over the city's inhabitants. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there are those who refuse to be lulled into a false sense of security. They are the vigilant few who heed the warnings whispered on the wind, their senses attuned to the subtle shifts in the fabric of reality, that betray the presence of danger lurking just beyond the edge of perception. And yet, for all their vigilance, there are moments of vulnerability moments when the veneer of civility is stripped away to reveal the raw, unfiltered truth of human nature. In these moments, the city's residents are confronted with the harsh reality of their own mortality, their illusions shattered by the cruel hand of fate. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there is also resilience a strength born of adversity, and tempered by the fires of experience. 
For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lies the true test of humanity's metal a test that will push them to the very brink of their abilities and beyond. As the first tendrils of smoke curl lazily into the sky, unnoticed by all but the most astute observers, a sense of unease begins to settle over the crowded streets of 17th century London. At first, it is merely a whisper a faint hint of something amiss that tugs at the edges of consciousness like a distant memory. But as the minutes tick by and the flames take hold, the whisper becomes a roar a deafening cacophony of crackling timber and roaring flames that echoes through the city like a clarion call to chaos. With each passing moment, the fire spreads with unchecked ferocity, leaping from building to building with the voracious appetite of a ravenous beast. The air is thick with the acrid scent of smoke, the sky obscured by a blanket of ash that blots out the sun and casts the city streets into shadow. In the blink of an eye, what was once a small bakery fire becomes a raging inferno a tempest of fire and fury that threatens to consume everything in its path. The flames dance with wild abandon, devouring everything in their wake the wooden structures that line the streets, the cobblestones that pave the way. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there is also a sense of determination a resolve born of adversity and tempered by the fires of experience. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lies the true test of humanity's metal a test that will push them to the very brink of their abilities and beyond. As the flames leap higher and higher, their orange tongues licking greedily at the sky, a wave of panic sweeps through the crowded streets of 17th century London, like a tidal wave crashing against the shore. It begins as a murmur a low, ominous rumble that reverberates through the city like a warning bell tolling the approach of disaster. But as the realization of the fire's ferocity sinks in, the murmur grows into a cacophony of shouts and screams, a symphony of chaos and confusion that fills the air with a palpable sense of fear. People rush to and fro, their faces twisted in expressions of terror, as they scramble to escape the encroaching flames. Mothers clutch their children to their chests, their hearts pounding with fear as they flee for safety. Elderly men and women hobble through the streets, their steps unsteady and uncertain as they struggle to outrun the inferno's advance. Amidst the chaos, there are moments of heroism acts of selflessness and bravery that shine like beacons amidst the darkness. Strangers lend a helping hand to one another, pulling each other from the path of destruction and offering words of comfort and encouragement in the face of overwhelming odds. But for every act of heroism, there are countless moments of despair moments when the flames claim another victim, another life lost to the merciless fury of the inferno. And as the fire spreads unchecked, consuming everything in its path, the sense of desperation grows ever stronger, a gnawing pit of dread that threatens to swallow the city hole. In the midst of it all, the firefighter stands as a solitary figure amidst the chaos, their eyes ablaze with determination as they battle the flames with unwavering resolve. But even they cannot shake the feeling of helplessness that threatens to overwhelm them a sense of futility that gnaws at their soul as they confront the enormity of the task before them. And yet, amidst the chaos and despair, there is a glimmer of hope a flicker of light that pierces the darkness and guides the way forward. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lies the true test of humanity's metal a test that will push them to the very brink of their abilities and beyond. As the flames crackled and roared, a primal fear swept through the crowded streets of 17th century London like a relentless tempest, tearing at the fabric of society and leaving chaos and panic in its wake. It began as a whisper, a murmur of uncertainty that hung heavy in the air, but soon erupted into a cacophony of screams and shouts a symphony of terror that echoed off the walls of the narrow alleyways and reverberated through the city like a thunderous roar. Men, women, and children alike were seized by a desperate urge to flee, their faces contorted in expressions of sheer terror as they scrambled for safety. Mothers clutched their children tightly to their chests, their hearts pounding with fear as they sought refuge from the encroaching flames. Elderly men and women stumbled through the streets, their frail bodies trembling with each uncertain step as they struggled to escape the inferno's relentless advance. In the midst of the chaos, acts of heroism and selflessness emerged like beacons of light in the darkness. Strangers banded together, lending aid to those in need and pulling them from the path of destruction. Some risked their own lives to save others, their bravery shining brightly amidst the devastation. But for every act of courage, there were countless moments of despair. The flames devoured buildings and homes with insatiable hunger, claiming lives and livelihoods in their relentless march. Desperate cries for help echoed through the smoke-filled streets, mingling with the crackling of timber and the roar of the inferno. Amidst it all, the firefighters stood as a solitary figure amidst the chaos, their determination unwavering as they battled the flames with all their strength. 
but even they could not escape the overwhelming sense of helplessness that threatened to consume them a feeling of futility that gnawed at their soul with each passing moment. And yet, amidst the chaos and despair, there remained a glimmer of hope a flicker of light that refused to be extinguished. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lay the true test of humanity's resilience, a test that would push them to their limits and beyond, but one that they would ultimately overcome, united in their struggle against the forces of destruction. As the flames raged unchecked, devouring everything in their path with an insatiable hunger, whispers began to circulate among the people of 17th century London a hushed murmur that spoke of something more sinister, lurking just beyond the edge of perception. At first, it was dismissed as mere superstition a fanciful tale spun by frightened minds grasping for explanations in the face of the inexplicable. But as the inferno continued to spread unabated, the whispers grew louder, more insistent, until they could no longer be ignored. There were those who claimed to have seen strange shadows dancing amidst the flames dark, twisting shapes that seemed to move with a life of their own, their sinister forms casting eerie silhouettes against the flickering glow of the fire. Others spoke of whispered voices carried on the wind a chorus of whispers that seemed to speak in tongues unknown, their words laden with a malevolent intent that sent shivers down the spine. But perhaps most unsettling of all were the accounts of those who claimed to have felt a presence a dark looming presence that seemed to linger just beyond the veil of reality, its malevolent gaze fixed upon the city like a predator stalking its prey. Some described a sensation of being watched, of feeling the weight of unseen eyes boring into their very soul, while others spoke of a chilling coldness that seemed to seep into their bones, draining them of warmth and vitality. As the whispers grew louder and the flames continued to rage, it became increasingly clear that there was something more at play a malevolent force that lurked just beneath the surface, driving the fire's insatiable hunger and feeding off the chaos and despair that gripped the city in its icy grasp. And as the firefighter battled tirelessly against the inferno, they could not shake the feeling that they were not merely fighting against the flames, but against something far more sinister a demonic force that sought to consume them body and soul. As the inferno raged with unrelenting fury, the firefighters stood at the forefront of the battle, their every breath tinged with the acrid scent of smoke and their every movement a testament to their unwavering resolve. With each step forward, they braved the searing heat and the choking smoke, their senses attuned to the ever-shifting currents of the fire's relentless advance. Armed with nothing but courage and determination, they plunged headlong into the heart of the inferno, their hands and heart united in a singular purpose to quell the flames and save those trapped within. With each swing of their axe and each blast of their water hose, they fought tirelessly against the encroaching tide of destruction, their movements a blur of motion amidst the chaos and confusion. But even as they battled with all their strength, the flames seemed to mock their efforts, dancing and leaping with unchecked ferocity, devouring everything in their path with an insatiable hunger. It was a battle of wills a test of endurance and perseverance that pushed the firefighter to the very limits of their abilities and beyond. And yet, amidst the chaos and despair, there were moments of triumph small victories snatched from the jaws of defeat. With each building saved and each life rescued, the firefighters' resolve grew stronger, their determination unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. But even as they fought bravely against the flames, there was a sense of unease and gnawing feeling that they were not merely battling against the forces of nature, but against something far more sinister. It was a feeling that lingered in the air like a shadow a dark looming presence that seemed to watch their every move with malevolent intent. And as the firefighter pressed on, their courage unyielding in the face of adversity, they could not shake the feeling that they were not alone that there was something lurking just beyond the edge of perception, waiting to strike with deadly precision. But still, they fought on, their determination unbroken in the face of overwhelming odds, for they knew that the fate of the city rested in their hands, and they would not rest until the flames were extinguished, and the people of London were safe once more. There were those who claimed to have seen strange shadows dancing amidst the flames dark, twisting shapes that seemed to move with a life of their own, their sinister forms casting eerie silhouettes against the flickering glow of the fire. Others spoke of whispered voices carried on the wind a chorus of whispers that seemed to speak in tongues unknown, their words laden with a malevolent intent that sent shivers down the spine. But perhaps most unsettling of all were the accounts of those who claimed to have felt a presence a dark looming presence that seemed to linger just beyond the veil of reality, its malevolent gaze fixed upon the city like a predator stalking its prey. Some described a sensation of being watched, of feeling the weight of unseen eyes boring into their very soul, while others spoke of a chilling coldness that seemed to seep into their bones, draining them of warmth and vitality. 
As the whispers grew louder and the flames continued to rage, it became increasingly clear that there was something more at play a demonic force that lurked just beneath the surface, driving the fire's insatiable hunger, and feeding off the chaos and despair that gripped the city in its icy grasp. And as the firefighter battled tirelessly against the inferno, they could not shake the feeling that they were not merely fighting against the flames, but against something far more sinister a force of darkness that sought to consume them body and soul. Though they could not yet fully comprehend the true nature of this malevolent presence, its influence could be felt in every crackle of the flames, in every whisper of the wind a harbinger of doom, lurking just beyond the edge of perception, waiting to strike with deadly precision. As the inferno continued to rage unchecked, the firefighter found themselves locked in a desperate struggle against not only the ferocious flames, but also the sinister presence that seemed to lurk just beyond the edge of perception a malevolent force that twisted and distorted reality itself, driving the fire's insatiable hunger, and feeding off the chaos and despair that gripped the city in its icy grasp. With each step forward, the firefighter braved the searing heat and the choking smoke, their every movement a testament to their unwavering resolve. Armed with nothing but courage and determination, they plunged headlong into the heart of the inferno, their senses attuned to the ever-shifting currents of the fire's relentless advance. But even as they battled with all their strength, the flames seemed to mock their efforts, dancing and leaping with unchecked ferocity, devouring everything in their path with an insatiable hunger. It was a battle of wills a test of endurance and perseverance, that pushed the firefighter to the very limits of their abilities and beyond. And yet, amidst the chaos and despair, there were moments of triumph small victories snatched from the jaws of defeat. With each building saved and each life rescued, the firefighters' resolve grew stronger, their determination unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. But even as they fought bravely against the flames, there was a sense of unease and gnawing feeling, that they were not merely battling against the forces of nature, but against something far more sinister. It was a feeling that lingered in the air like a shadow a dark looming presence, that seemed to watch their every move with malevolent intent. As they pressed on, their courage unyielding in the face of adversity, the firefighter could not shake the feeling that they were not alone that there was something lurking just beyond the edge of perception, waiting to strike with deadly precision. But still, they fought on, their determination unbroken in the face of overwhelming odds, for they knew that the fate of the city rested in their hands, and they would not rest until the flames were extinguished, and the people of London were safe once more. As the inferno continued its relentless assault on the city of 17th century London, the flames reached a crescendo of intensity that seemed to defy all reason and logic. With each passing moment, the fire grew stronger, its voracious appetite consuming everything in its path with a ferocity that bordered on the supernatural. Buildings that had stood for generations crumbled like paper in the face of the inferno's fury, their wooden frames reduced to smoldering embers, that cast an eerie glow upon the surrounding chaos. The air was thick with the acrid scent of smoke, the sky obscured by a thick blanket of ash that blotted out the sun, and cast the city streets into an unnatural twilight. Amidst the chaos and destruction, the people of London watched in horror as their beloved city was consumed by flames, their cries of despair drowned out by the roar of the inferno. Panic gripped the populace like a vice, driving them to desperation as they scrambled to escape the encroaching firestorm. But amidst the chaos and despair, there were moments of heroism small acts of courage and selflessness, that shone like beacons amidst the darkness. Strangers banded together, risking their own lives to save others, their bravery a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, in the face of overwhelming odds. Yet even as the people fought bravely against the flames, there was a sense of futility and gnawing feeling that they were merely delaying the inevitable. For with each passing moment, the fire grew stronger, its insatiable hunger driving it ever onwards towards its ultimate goal. And as the flames reached their peak intensity, casting a hellish glow upon the city streets, there was a sense of inevitability a grim acceptance of the fate that awaited them. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lay the true test of humanity's metal a test, that would push them to their limits and beyond, but one that they would ultimately overcome, united in their struggle against the forces of destruction. As the flames reached their peak intensity, engulfing everything in their path with a ferocity that seemed to defy all reason, the firefighters stood at the forefront of the battle, their every breath tinged with the acrid scent of smoke and their every movement a testament to their unwavering resolve. With each step forward, they braved the searing heat and the choking smoke, their senses attuned to the ever-shifting currents of the fire's relentless advance. But even as they battled with all their strength, the flames seemed to mock their efforts, dancing and leaping with unchecked ferocity, devouring everything in their path with an insatiable hunger. 
It was a battle of wills a test of endurance and perseverance that pushed the firefighter to the very limits of their abilities and beyond. And yet, amidst the chaos and despair, there were moments of triumph small victories snatched from the jaws of defeat. With each building saved and each life rescued, the firefighters' resolve grew stronger, their determination unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. But even as they fought bravely against the flames, there was a sense of unease and gnawing feeling that they were not merely battling against the forces of nature, but against something far more sinister. It was a feeling that lingered in the air like a shadow a dark looming presence that seemed to watch their every move with malevolent intent. As they pressed on, their courage unyielding in the face of adversity, the firefighter could not shake the feeling that they were not alone that there was something lurking just beyond the edge of perception, waiting to strike with deadly precision. But still, they fought on, their determination unbroken in the face of overwhelming odds, for they knew that the fate of the city rested in their hands, and they would not rest until the flames were extinguished, and the people of London were safe once more. As the inferno continued to rage, its flames reaching a crescendo of intensity that seemed to defy all reason, the true nature of the demonic force behind the fire began to reveal itself in all its malevolent glory. Amidst the chaos and destruction, whispers of a darker, more sinister presence had circulated among the people of 17th century London a presence that seemed to lurk just beyond the edge of perception, twisting and distorting reality itself. But now, as the flames reached their peak intensity, the veil of secrecy was lifted, and the full extent of the demonic force's power was laid bare for all to see. In the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there emerged a figure a dark, shadowy form that seemed to materialize from the very depths of the fire itself. Its eyes burned with an otherworldly light, their gaze fixated upon the city with a malevolent intensity that sent shivers down the spine. With each passing moment, the figure grew stronger, its form coalescing into a twisted parody of humanity a monstrous visage that seemed to defy all comprehension. It was a creature of pure darkness, born from the depths of the inferno, and driven by an insatiable hunger for destruction and chaos. In the face of such overwhelming power, the firefighters stood resolute, their courage unwavering in the face of adversity. With every ounce of strength they possessed, they battled against the demonic force, their determination unyielding in the face of overwhelming odds. But even as they fought bravely against the flames, there was a sense of futility and gnawing feeling that they were merely delaying the inevitable. For in the heart of the inferno, amidst the crackling of timber and the roar of flames, there lay the true test of humanity's metal a test that would push them to their limits and beyond, but one that they would ultimately overcome, united in their struggle against the forces of destruction. As the flames finally subsided, leaving behind a city reduced to ruins, the full extent of the devastation wrought by the inferno became painfully clear. What had once been a bustling metropolis teeming with life and vitality, now lay smoldering and charred, its streets turned with the wreckage of buildings and the shattered remnants of lives torn apart. Gone were the familiar landmarks and bustling marketplaces, replaced instead by a desolate landscape of ash and rubble. The once proud buildings that lined the city streets, now stood as crumbling husks, their blackened timbers jutting jaggedly into the sky like the bones of some long-forgotten giant. Amidst the ruins, the people of London wandered like ghosts, their faces etched with sorrow and despair. Some searched desperately for loved ones lost in the chaos, their hearts heavy with grief, while others simply stood in stunned silence, their eyes vacant and hollow, as they tried to comprehend the enormity of the tragedy that had befallen their city. In the distance, the firefighters surveyed the scene with a heavy heart, their own spirit weighed down by the magnitude of the destruction. They had fought bravely against the flames, risking life and limb to save as many lives as they could, but in the end, it had not been enough. The city lay in ruins, a catastrophic loss that would shape its future development for generations to come. But amidst the despair, there remained a glimmer of hope a flicker of light amidst the darkness. For in the hearts of the people of London burned a resilience born of adversity, a determination to rise from the ashes and rebuild their beloved city, stronger than ever before. And as the sun set on the smoldering ruins of 17th century London, casting a warm glow upon the shattered landscape, the people began to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives and look towards the future with renewed determination. For though the city lay in ruins, its spirit remained unbroken a testament to the indomitable strength of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming odds. As I stand amidst the smoldering ruins of what was once a vibrant city, the weight of the catastrophic loss presses down upon me like a crushing weight, threatening to suffocate me with its enormity. 
Everywhere I look, I see nothing but destruction and despair the once proud buildings, reduced to little more than charred husks, the bustling streets now silent and deserted, the laughter and chatter of the people replaced by the mournful wails of the grieving. It is a scene of utter devastation, a testament to the awesome power of nature's fury and the fragility of human civilization. What had once been a thriving metropolis, teeming with life and vitality, now lies in ruins a mere shadow of its former self, its spirit broken and its future uncertain. As I survey the destruction around me, my heart aches with sorrow for all that has been lost. The lives torn apart, the dreams shattered, the memories reduced to ashes it is a tragedy of epic proportions, one that will leave a scar on the soul of the city for generations to come. But amidst the despair, there is also a glimmer of hope a faint flicker of light amidst the darkness. For even in the face of such overwhelming loss, the human spirit remains unbroken, resilient in the face of adversity. Already, I see the people of the city beginning to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives, banding together to rebuild their beloved home from the ashes of destruction. It will not be easy, this road to recovery. The challenges ahead are daunting, the obstacles many. But as I look into the eyes of my fellow survivors, I see a determination a steely resolve to overcome whatever challenges may come their way and emerge stronger on the other side. And so, as the sun sets on this darkest of days, I find solace in the knowledge that while the city may lie in ruins, its spirit remains unbroken. For in the face of catastrophe, we have discovered the true strength of the human spirit a strength that will carry us through even the darkest of times and light the way to a brighter future. As the smoke clears and the true extent of the devastation wrought by the inferno becomes apparent, it is impossible to ignore the long-lasting impact it will have on the development of the city. What was once a bustling metropolis, teeming with life and activity, now lies in ruins a stark reminder of the fragility of human civilization and the awesome power of nature's fury. The destruction caused by the fire is not merely physical, but also economic, social, and psychological. Entire neighborhoods have been reduced to rubble, leaving thousands homeless and destitute. Businesses have been destroyed, livelihoods lost, and families torn apart. The social fabric of the city has been torn asunder, leaving behind a sense of despair and hopelessness that will take years to repair. But amidst the devastation, there is also opportunity a chance to rebuild the city stronger and more resilient than ever before. Already, plans are being drawn up for the reconstruction effort, with architects and urban planners working tirelessly to design a city that is better equipped to withstand future disasters. The lessons learned from the fire will shape the city's development for generations to come. Stricter building codes and fire safety regulations will be put in place to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. Green spaces and public parks will be incorporated into the urban landscape, providing much-needed respite from the hustle and bustle of city life. And efforts will be made to foster a sense of community and solidarity among the city's inhabitants, ensuring that they are better prepared to face whatever challenges may come their way. But perhaps most importantly, the fire will serve as a reminder of the indomitable spirit of the human race's spirit that refuses to be broken, even in the face of unimaginable tragedy. As the city rises from the ashes and begins to rebuild, it will do so with a renewed sense of purpose and determination, united in its resolve to create a better, brighter future for all who call it home. As I stand amidst the ruins of what was once a thriving city, I am filled with a sense of awe and reverence for the resilience of the human spirit. Despite the devastation wrought by the inferno, the people of 17th century London have proven themselves to be unbroken, their determination to rebuild stronger than ever before. As the days turn into weeks and the weeks into months, the city begins to rise from the ashes, its streets buzzing with the sounds of construction and renewal. Buildings that were once reduced to rubble are rebuilt, stronger and more resilient than ever before. Families that were torn apart by the fire are reunited, their bonds strengthened by the trials they have endured. And amidst it all, the spirit of the city shines brighter than ever before a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. But though the physical scars of the inferno may fade with time, its memory will forever be etched into the collective consciousness of the city. It will serve as a reminder of the fragility of human civilization, and the awesome power of nature's fury a cautionary tale, that will be passed down from generation to generation, as a reminder of the importance of vigilance and preparedness, in the face of disaster. And so, as the sun sets on this chapter in the city's history, I am filled with a sense of optimism for the future. For though the road ahead may be long and fraught with challenges, I know that the people of 17th century London are more than up to the task. With their resilience, determination, and unwavering spirit, they will rebuild their beloved city from the ashes and create a future that is brighter and more hopeful than ever before. 
As the final embers of the inferno fade into the night, leaving behind a city in ruins, there lingers a palpable sense of dread a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond the edge of perception. For though the flames may have been extinguished, the true nature of the demonic force that drove them, remains a mystery a malevolent presence that seems to linger in the shadows, its influence still felt in the whispers of the wind and the flickering of the flames. As I look out over the smoldering ruins of what was once a vibrant city, I cannot shake the feeling that the darkness has not yet been banished that it still lingers, waiting patiently for the opportunity to strike once more. And so, as I bid farewell to the shattered remnants of 17th century London, I cannot help but wonder what other horrors may lie in wait, hidden just beyond the veil of reality. For in a world where the line between the natural and the supernatural is blurred, there, as I reflect on the harrowing events that unfolded in the heart of 17th century London, I cannot help but feel a shiver run down my spine a premonition of the horrors yet to come. For though the flames may have been extinguished and the city left in ruins, the darkness that lurks just beyond the edge of perception remains ever-present, its malevolent influence casting a shadow over the world. And so, as I prepare to embark on my next journey into the realm of the supernatural, I cannot help but wonder what other terrors await me. Will it be a tale of haunted forests and vengeful spirits, or perhaps a story of cursed artifacts and forbidden rituals? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The darkness that lurks within the human soul is a force to be reckoned with, and its influence knows no bounds. And as I set out to uncover the truth behind the mysteries that lie hidden in the shadows, I can only hope that I will emerge unscathed from the darkness that awaits. So join me, dear reader, as we venture once more into the realm of the unknown, where danger lurks around every corner, and the line between reality and nightmare is blurred beyond recognition. For in the darkness, there are truths to be discovered and secrets to be revealed truths that may forever change the way we see the world around us. As I conclude this narrative journey through the fiery depths of 17th century London, I am left with a profound sense of awe and reverence for the resilience of the human spirit. The events that unfolded amidst the chaos and devastation serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of human civilization and the awesome power of nature's fury. But amidst the destruction, there is also hope a glimmer of light amidst the darkness. For though the flames may have consumed everything in their path, they could not extinguish the indomitable spirit of the people of London. In the face of overwhelming adversity, they stood strong, united in their determination to rebuild their beloved city from the ashes, and create a future that is brighter and more hopeful than ever before. As I look back on the trials and tribulations that we have faced together, I am reminded of the words of Winston Churchill. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And so, as we emerge from the darkness and begin to rebuild, let us do so with courage and determination, knowing that together, we can overcome any obstacle that stands in our way. And so, as I bid farewell to the shattered remnants of 17th century London, I do so with a sense of optimism for the future. For though the road ahead may be long and fraught with challenges, I know that with courage, resilience, and determination, we will prevail. And as we continue on our journey, let us never forget the lessons that we have learned, nor the strength that lies within each and every one of us. For in the end, it is not the darkness that defines us, but the light that we carry within our hearts. And as long as that light continues to burn, we will never be truly lost. So let us march forward into the unknown, together, with hope in our hearts and fire in our souls. For the future is ours to shape, and together, we will build a world that is brighter and more beautiful than we ever dared to imagine. I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you, who has embarked on this journey with me through the fiery depths of 17th century London. Your willingness to delve into the realm of the supernatural and explore the darkest corners of the human psyche has been both humbling and inspiring. Thank you for allowing me to share this story with you, and for lending me your ears as I spun a tale of courage, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of the human race. It has been an honor and a privilege to take you on this adventure, and I hope that you have found it to be as thrilling and thought-provoking as I have. As we part ways and go our separate paths, know that you will always hold a special place in my heart. Your support and encouragement mean more to me than words can express, and I am truly grateful for the opportunity to share my passion for storytelling with such a wonderful audience. So thank you, from the bottom of my heart, for experiencing this story with me. May it stay with you long after the final embers have faded, and may you carry its lessons with you as you continue on your own journey through life. Until we meet again, dear reader, may your days be filled with adventure, laughter, and endless possibilities. And finally, before we part ways, I want to extend an invitation to each and every one of you. 
If you have a scary experience of your own that you'd like to share, I would be honored to hear it. Whether it's a tale of ghostly encounters, unexplained phenomena, or brushes with the supernatural, your stories have the power to captivate and inspire others, just as much as they have captivated and inspired me. So don't hesitate to reach out and share your experiences with me. You can send them via email, through social media, or however you feel most comfortable. Your stories could become the inspiration for future narrations, allowing us to continue our journey into the realm of the unknown together. Thank you once again for joining me on this adventure, and I look forward to hearing your story soon. Until then, may you always find courage in the face of fear, and may your journeys through the darkness be guided by the light of your own inner strength. Thank you for listening, we hope you enjoyed the video, we highly recommend you watch the next video here. Oops. I'm waiting for you to click. Yes, you've clicked. Happy watching.